Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the best Halo YouTuber on the planet, Hollow Tide here, just kidding. But today we're going to talk about, you know, some tinfoil hat theories I have regarding HCS Orlando. And the actual HCS account tweeted, you know, to celebrate 15 years of Halo 3, iconic pro players from that era will clash in the throwback throwdown at the Major. More details coming soon. They also said, oh, did we mention there will be a Halo Infinite world premiere for the throwback throwdown? Wonder what that could be. Okay, so this is where the tinfoil hat theory comes in from me. This is all stuff. This is all speculation from me. But before we get into that, I have to ask you all, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. There's a ton of you who don't, and I would greatly appreciate it. And if you agree with this theory, leave a like on the video and a comment down below. So my theory is that not only are we going to get those Halo 3 maps remade in Halo Infinite that everybody else is saying, but I think we're going to get a lot more. And this stems from a conversation, not really a conversation, just a tweet I had with Tashi, who is the head of Halo Esports and viewership at 343. And the first time that I asked this was in April of this year. And he had tweeted, we're working on year two structure roadmap, some improvements. And he had some things listed and said, any other high level feedback? And I said, apparel of old teams. He said, we're cooking up something insane, won't see it for a while, but something being worked on. And his first tweet was in response to year two. But I think that we're on a, a better timeline than that. And I had remembered that tweet, you know, from a long time ago. And it made some connections with some other things that I've been seeing. On September 19th, Bravo tweeted about how stoked he is for Orlando. And he might have to pack the classic MLG t-shirts from that event. And speaking of MLG, Sundance, who was the co-founder of MLG back in the day, you know, he had, quote, tweeted another tweet about a smiley face from somebody named Ethan, who was the manager of broadcast operations at Esports Engine, and he's got MLG in there for the alumni. Hmm. And that was on the tweet about the throwback throwdown. And if you didn't know, MLG actually owned the old Halo teams. I know Final Boss, and I'm, well, it's not owned them, but they own, like, the rights to them. And would you look at that? You know, Final Boss, the last time they tweeted was last year. But it's kind of weird, you know, that uh, all these old MLG people are tweeting things. In fact, earlier in September, Sundance also tweeted this picture of an old MLG shirt. So my theory is, is that we're going to get a ton of apparel, a ton of throwback type of stuff in addition to the Halo 3 maps. I feel like this whole throwback thing that they're doing is going to be a little bit bigger than just maps, I guess. And who knows, you know, what if the actual new partnered teams were just MLG teams? Like the rosters got bought out or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next Tinfoil Hat Theory special. Peace.